so the way this is set up, this is the track. I try to smooth it out so that it, it won't bounce around anymore. This is my ruler. And, and the ruler is assigned, it's glued to the background and it's uh, assigned to a no collision layer so that nothing will collide with the ruler. Um, it'll, you know, this ball will just fall through it. Um, so, um, I guess what I wanted to demonstrate is how with a setup like this, if the ball falls right at this height, and let me make sure it starts out with a zero velocity, zero out its speed, um, that it doesn't actually have enough speed. As it rolls through, you will see that um, it doesn't quite reach that point, it comes off. And that's because for it to be able to do this loop-the-loop -loop maneuver, it actually needs to reach this height with some amount of speed so that the normal force just barely goes to zero. And uh, when you set it up, the when you you know solve through the it, it, the amount of extra height it needs to have so that it has enough velocity there will be half of the radius. So let me set up a second ruler that I can use to measure that half of the radius. Okay, I think I can eyeball half of the radius well enough here. I'm just going to make sure that this is glued to the background so it doesn't fall. And it has no collision uh, layer so it doesn't collide with anything. Okay, so I have this uh, ruler here. Uh, so the, so the um, diameter here was something like 4.1 meters. So the... Um, the half of the radius will be that diameter divided by four. So um, the half of the, so it should be at a little bit under, like um, so about one meter and a little bit under there, yeah. So if I start with the ball here, then it should now have enough potential energy here to have enough kinetic energy here to, um, to not fall off the track and complete the loop the loop maneuver. So let me make sure its initial velocity is zero and let it run. And yeah, just enough. It almost came off there and it was just enough. And I, the reason I wanted to do this precise setup is to show you one thing that's really difficult to show in a real life demo. That is this. So with this particular thing, I set up really um, unachievable material properties. I made it a friction zero and I made it a restitution zero so that it'll always have inelastic uh, collisions, it won't bounce around. Um, this part I'll just leave it be. I don't want it to bounce around still. But with the friction being zero, it does have unnatural motion. It slides down rather than rolling down. So the natural question is, what if this had been a ball so that it uh, so that it actually rolls down the way balls actually behave in a uh, real world? So I'm gonna put in some reasonable amount of friction so that it rolls down. Let's see what happens. Oops, um, this also needs friction. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, it's rolling, 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 looks realistic. And now watch here. The height it was at, it wasn't enough. So at this point in the semester, we don't have enough tools to show you why it didn't have enough energy to get to that point. Um, we'll get there in two, three weeks. <laughs> so when we get there, we can return to this and add a little bit of additional height that will allow us to actually complete the loop, the loop for this spherical thing. And in case you are wondering the size of this, uh, it doesn't matter. Like whether it's much larger, like I can make this a much larger, uh, much larger sphere. Well, not that larger, like this larger. Oh, I do have to be careful about where it's. No, I think it. Um, this is probably. Yeah, it, so it could be larger. Oh, wait, wait, it's not going to clear that. Uh, okay, let me make it larger, but 
be able to clear that little um, um, Porsche. Here, at just enough size. Okay, let me make it just to the right size to barely clear that. Um, So it so it still won't be able to do the loop the loop, but it won't be that much worse than when it was smaller. Well, if anything, a little bit better because uh, it's a little hard to, to tell what height I should place it. Now, if it's much smaller, doesn't make it any better. So if it's really tiny sphere, and um, well, you can't tell that it's what happened to it's a pizza thing. Uh, let me just create a new ball. So that it still has that pizza thing. Um, gonna get rid of that. And uh, it, let me just make sure that this has uh, only inelastic collisions. So when this ball is much smaller, it still um, will have the same issue. So when it, this rolls down, much smaller ball than the first time I tried it, still won't have enough energy there. Yeah. So um, <laughs> we'll uh, come back to this in a couple of weeks when you will have tools to handle uh, rotating objects. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, that, that, that's this demo. I'll figure out how to use it. <laughs> so. Um,